My name is Ross and today I'll be taking you through another 30 minute hit session. Today's focus is fast and low. So we'll be moving fast, we'll be keeping it low and sometimes even a little bit of both. Now before we get started, just make sure you've got your device in a place that you can see me whether you're standing up, kneeling or lying down. And if you're someone who wants to or needs to take those modifications, just listen up throughout today's session as I will be calling those out as we go. Now, all you need today is a mat. I'd grab yourself a sweat towel, get yourself some water and pop on those trainers. And then if you're ready to go, I'm ready to go. So let's get started. We're actually gonna come all the way down to the floor today to start and we can just find ourselves in a little child's pose. So toes together, knees apart nice and wide and just reaching forward, breathing deeply. You can have a little rock out on the hips. Feel free to flip the palms to the ceiling if you prefer see how you feel. Let's just start to bring that focus into the room today. We know that HIT is that sweaty one. We're going to get the heart rate nice and high. We're going to be feeling those endorphins after, but it is also a tough one. So think about using that breath throughout. A little stretch here, a little cat cow. Going one way then the other. Just finding a little bit of articulation through the spine. Breathing deeply once more. And then straight away today, let's tuck the toes and lift the knees. Just a little hovered position. We're lifting out of the shoulders. Long, flat spine, engage through the core. You're gonna feel a little bit of work through the shoulders, core, and a little bit of work into the thighs as well. And then from here, press all the way back into a little downward dog. Feel free to readjust the hands or the feet. You can have a little pad through. Take a deep inhale as you exhale. Let's roll forward into a plank. And then straight away, step one leg forward into that little lunge. If you want to, if you need to, you can step. Ah, sorry, you can drop that back knee. See how you feel. Replacing the hand back down, swapping legs. Have a little rock, you can pop that back knee back down. All right, team, let's come back into that plank. We're just gonna hold, just for five, four, three, two, one. Gently walk your feet in, step them a little bit wide. We're gonna lift up into a little squat and then we're gonna come all the way up and all the way down. Just nice and slow, just getting into the muscles here. Let's talk about what's to come. We're gonna start off with our Tabata today. 20 seconds of work with a 10 seconds of rest in between. That's gonna get started in 10 seconds time. Your first exercise, we're going for four quick runs with eight sprints. We start in four, three, two, let's go silver liners. One, two, three, four, sprint, sprint, sprint. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Sprint, sprint, sprint. We're 10 seconds down. Let's keep this up. One, two, three, four. Sprint it out. Five seconds more. One, two, three, four. Sprint. Three, two, one. Little breather. Feel that breath. Into your plank. Option to keep the knees down. We're going for shoulder taps. We start in three, in two, in one. Now tapping those shoulders one way than the other. I want you to focus on keeping the hips nice and square. Find that control, find that balance through the body. Keep using that breath long through the spine. We're here for another five, just four, three, two, and one. All right, a little shake out. Lying down on your back now, long through the body. Coming up, a little rotation towards that front knee. We start in three, two, one. Now, if this feels good, you pick up the pace maybe even add a full leg extension. Find that rotation, find that speed now. You've got it, stay in it. Just eight more seconds. I'm right here with you. Let's do it together. Here we go team, just another three, two, and one. All right, those are your three exercises. We're heading back to the start. Those four quick changes and those sprints. Once again, in three, in two, in one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, sprint it out. Team, one, two, three, four. Silver liners, are you still with me? Stay in it. Remember, if you need to modify, you take a breath, you shake it out, maybe you take it slower, but I want you to work to whatever your maximum is today. Let's do it for another three, two, one. Little breather, little shake out. Shoulder taps, bring it down, long through the spine. Modify, drop the knees, wherever you are, we go in four, three, two, one, tap. Tap, tap, and tap. Your shoulders are above those wrists. Try not to sit back from it. Try and keep the hips in line if you can. Engage through that core, belly button to spine. 
shoulders away from the ears. Long, beautiful neck team. Just another five, another four, three, two, and one. Shake it out on your backs. Long, long, long through the body. Working into that core. In three, in two. Let's go, let's go. One way, then the other. Turning towards that knee as it comes in. Use that abdominal to help you. Use the arms as well. Breathe. Then if you want to, you have that advanced option to give it that full straight leg. I know some of you can. Try it out. Four more. Three, two, one. All right, we are two rounds down. We've got two rounds to go. So halfway, you've done it. You just have to do it again. Let's do it back into those runs in three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Ha, 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 ha. Run, 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 run. Keep it going. Sprint it out, team. You got this. You're more than halfway through this exercise. We just have another five, four, stay in it, three, right to the end, two, one, shake it out. All right, into that plank. You know what these exercises are now, so you know how to feel them for yourself. You also know how 20 seconds feels. We start in three, two, and one. So because you know what 20 seconds feels like now, you know if you can pick up that pace. Strong through the core, strong in those obliques especially. That's gonna help stop you from wobbling from side to side. Just another five, another four, another three, two, one. Bring it down to the ground. We're going for those jack knives. Long through the body. Straight away, I'm thinking that little tuck of the pelvis, belly button in. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up, up, up. Don't worry about sticking in time with the beat of the music. Go through that music. Find your pace and get it a little bit quicker. Team, 10 seconds down. Silver liners. Just another five. Another four, three, two, and one. All right, last round, make it count. It might be the last time we see these exercises. We never have to think about them again, so let's do it. Three, two, one, run it out. Let's go, think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now they're two very different moves. Find the difference between them. One, we're thinking more long through the body. The other, we're going for speed. Just another, four, three, Two and one, great job, take it down. Shoulder taps, use that breath. Along through the spine, we go in four, in three, in two, take it there, let's go. We tap, tap, tap. This one, we've got that beautiful beat behind us. That's gonna help us, that's gonna lift it. Just think about sticking in time with the beat. Think about that core. You're already halfway through this exercise. Keep it up, just another eight, another six, another five, four, three, two, one, 10 seconds of rest. Use it, shake it out, get ready. This is your final little bit of Tabata. So let's make this one really count. If you can, maybe you test yourself. Let's go, three, two, one, get back in it with me. Test yourself with that long leg. If you didn't do it before, maybe you just try a couple and you can take it on back. This is your session. I want you to work to your max. I'm always gonna be here to encourage you. I'm here with you. Let's do it team. We're just gonna here for another three, two, one. All right, straight away, roll over onto your front. Elbows nice and wide. Bring the toes together. Just let the heels roll out to the side. Long through the spine. Lift the head, neck and shoulders up for two. Lower down for two. This is option one. Option two, you bring the arms with it. Option three, the legs can get involved as well. Lots of options for you. This is your chance to catch your breath. It's a little bit of active recovery. So we're still moving, we're still working but the focus is that recovery. Keep this going, keep breathing through this, set your own pace. Now, we're done with that Tabata, a little bit back to recovery. We're now going to be working for longer, but with a lot more of a break in between the exercise. We're working for one full continuous minute. So the challenge here is to find a pace that you can maintain. Let's do another five seconds here, another four, Another three, two, one, rest it out. All right, straight away, we're going into a push-up, into a downward dog. So one push-up, one downward dog. We start in four, in three, two, one. You take that push-up, you come down, you press back into that downward dog. So it's like a little breather in between each one. Now remember, we are working for one 
full minute continuously. I want you to set yourself that pace that you can maintain. If you can, you speed up, you ramp it up that little bit more. If you can't, you take it slow. Also, options, drop the knees down. You don't have to do a full push-up if that's not for you today. See how you feel. This will be your easiest option. To make it even easier, draw the knees further closer to the hands. Easier still. Knees further. Middle option, full press up is your toughest. And then you're pressing back into that downward dog. You're thinking hips up and back. That's gonna give you that little breather, that little rest in between. So you can afford to push it. You've got 30 whole seconds of rest coming your way in five. Last few reps, four, three, two, one. Rest it out. All right, there are 30 seconds of rest in between. If you feel like you can, maybe you bring it onto the feet, you just give it a slow jog. Maybe it's just a little walk around the room. See how you feel. Your next exercise, we're still into that upper body. We're going into a little tricep dip set. We're thinking hips off the floor, bent elbows, and we're tapping one hip from each side. We start in four, three, two, and one. So I'm thinking, lifting the hips, bending the elbows, long neck, tapping one hip, tapping the other. That's gonna get into your core, as well as into those triceps. They are going to burn. Let me tell you, use that breath. Remember, you set your pace that you can maintain. If you need to take a break, just drop the hips down, and then you get back into it when you're ready. Now, this is a great exercise also for the core. This is your last long upper body exercise, and then we are actually gonna work that core, so we're getting them nice and warm. Those abdominals are gonna be ready for that work. You are now 45 seconds in. You've got 15 seconds left, so make it count. See if you can speed it up for the last 15. Breathe through it, you got it. I'm gonna do it with you, why not? Side to side, this is my workout for the day as well, folks. Let's do it together. Just five more, 30 seconds of rest in four, in three, in two, in one, great job. Maybe give the wrist a bit of a roll. Remember, you can always stand up, walk around. Maybe you get into that jog. Abdominals, hands come base of the skull. Take the full weight of the head into the hand. We're coming up, we take it one side, then the other, we lower back down. Then you go on to the other side to start. 10 more seconds of rest, and then we are in. From the other angle, we roll up, one side, the other side, back down. We start in four, in three, two, let's do it together. We come up, side, side, lower down. Same thing, up, opposite side to start. Now, advanced option, you bring the opposite knee to the elbow, so the way that you face, that elbow has a little tap on the knee, that's harder, see how you feel. If you wanna make it easier, you slow it down. You just come up, you give a little rock one side, a little rock the other, and then you lower down. Using that breath will help you. Think about exhaling to draw you up. That's gonna help. Belly button to the spine. As always in our core, we wanna create that flat sheet of abdominal muscle. Really nice work, team. Keep breathing through this. You're doing so, so well. All right, team. That little rotation at the top is your oblique twist. That's gonna get into that waistline. Really great for your balance, really great for your posture. We're working the rectus abdominals, that six pack muscle right at the top here. Keep breathing through this. We've got another 10 seconds here. And then once again, 30 seconds of rest. You deserve it. Keep it up. I'm right here with you. Let's do it together. Just for another four, three, two, and one. Rest it out. Now, you should have your breath back by now. The exercises are a little bit less intense than the cardio. They're more muscular, so you know what to do. You bring it to that jog. If you don't need that rest, see how you feel. Second exercise, we're back into our abdominals. This time we're lifting the head, neck, and shoulders. Hands reach towards the ankles. Little tap, little tap. We're aiming for shoulder blades up and off of the ground. Team, we're getting started in five, in four, in three, two, one. Little tap, little tap. Now, the closer you have those ankles to you, the easier it is. So if you want that challenge, you walk them out and you reach around, around. You'll feel that little pinch in the side as you come around. 
Now, if you want to, if you need to, you take the hands behind the head and you think elbows reaching towards the ankles. Keep that up. Remember, you're setting that pace that you can maintain for the entire time. You're almost halfway through this exercise. Keep this going. Keep it up. Remember, grab a drink if you need to at any time. You're working hard. All right, team, you're more than halfway through this exercise. Keep it going, ankle taps. After this, we have one more abdominal exercise, and then we're getting into that lower body, into those legs. Keep it going, reach around, reach around, reach around, reach around. Maybe you pick up that pace. We're into your last 10 seconds now. See if you can. Breathe through it, team, for five, for four, three, two, one. Little rest, little breather. All right, final exercise. We're coming into a low plank. We've done high plank. This time low plank, elbows down. Find your full plank to start, and then if you want to, drop the knees. We've got two options here. You're in your modified plank, you tuck the toes, you lift one knee, then the other. If you want a little bit more of an advanced option, you start in that plank, and then you tap one knee, and then the next. Wherever you are, we go in four, three, two, one. So, you're either in low plank, elbows down, knees lifted, tapping one knee then the other, or modify your plank by dropping the knees down to start, and then you're lifting one knee then the other. Both options are great. They're both gonna get into that core. Keep lifting out of the shoulders. Give yourself that long, beautiful neck. Beautiful work. 30 seconds left. Breathe, and then we're moving into that lower body. We've got three lower body exercises. You're more than halfway through today's session. So just think, you've climbed that mountain. We're on your way back down. Silver liners, be with me. Now, maybe you start to speed this up. You've got 15 more seconds. How do you want to spend those 15 seconds? Remember, full 30 seconds of recovery coming your way. Stay with me, five. Stay with me, four. Stay with me, three, two, one. Rest it out, the breather. All right, team, we're going four. This one's a toughie, but a goodie. Squat position, nice and wide. We go four bounces, one, two, three, four. Then from the bottom, we're thinking tuck jump. Four bounces, one tuck. You've got 10 seconds until we're in. Long spine, think top of the head down to the tailbone. One long line, one, two, three, four. Tuck jump. We start in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Bounce. Two, three, four. Tuck jump. Two, three, four. Tuck jump. Two, three, four. Tuck jump. Now, if you're not jumping today, that is fine. You give it just a little up, down. Somewhere in between is just a little squat jump there that's without the knees coming up. But if you're going for it today, I want to see those knees get up there higher than the hips. Almost like you're finding that same squat position, but in the air. Let's do it together. We go four, three, two, one, up, down, two, three, four, up, down, two, three, four, up, down. How is that bouncing? Little drop, little drop, little drop. Up, down, you're finding that low, 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 fast, low. Remember that fast and low focus is today. Keep it going. Team, just another five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, rest it out. Good job, good job. All right, your next exercise. We are coming onto your front. We're letting ourselves catch that breath. Stack the hands in front of the head. Bring the knees nice and wide, sort of to the edges of your mat. Bring the heels in. Find a little tuck in the pelvis, get rid of the arch in the spine. We're pressing the heels up, up, and up. Keep this going, little lift, little lift, up, and up. Great job, keep breathing. Team, nice work. Little lift, little lift, little lift, little lift. Pressing the heels towards the ceiling. It's gonna get into those glutes, especially where the glutes meet the hamstring, meet the thigh, that little gluteal fold is gonna be on fire. My nose, I'm right here with you. Little lift, little lift. Along through the spine. Remember the neck is just an extension of that spine. So we don't want to 
pop the chin, we're gonna keep that long, long spine. Also thinking this little tuck of the pelvis. That takes the arch out of the spine, puts the work into the core, puts the work into the glutes. Keep that going, little press of the heels, little lift, little lift. Team, we're just here for another five, another four, three, two, one. Great job, remember 30 seconds of rest. You can find a little child's pose, you can jog it out. All right, friends, we have one more long exercise we're still into the lower body. We're getting into a squat. Remember, we're staying low. We think jump, jump, up, down. Jump, jump, up, down. Jump, jump, up, down. We start in four, three, two, one. Low, low, high, low. Low, low, high, low. From the side angle, we're thinking down, down, up, down. That little release at the top that firing up through the glutes. You should already be working from, especially those little frog kicks. You are ready to find that jump. Those low squats, stick it low. I want you to think, moving sideways, use that core. If you're not jumping today, of course, you just give it that up. You give it a down. You can also just walk this out, see how you feel. Remember, this is your last long exercise. Breathe through it, you got it. We're just here for another five. Stay in it, four, stay with me. Three, two, one. Shake it out, shake it out. Good job, have a little shake out, breathe. All right, remember that Tabata, we're heading back to it with different exercises. Your first exercise, nice and wide with the feet, get low, keeping it low, remember. And we're also moving fast. We start in three, two, one. So your Tabata is that 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Stay low in the legs, start to sprint them out. Keep going, you're here for another five, another four, three, two, one. Great job. Coming down to the floor, hands down. Option for the knees. You're jumping the feet in, you're lifting the chest, but you're staying low. In and out, this is your sprawl movement. It's like the bottom of a burpee. If you're modifying today, you can just take one hand off then the other, or you can walk yourself in and lift that chest. Options, wherever you are, we've got five, four, three, two, one, a little breather. Great job, coming down to the ground. Feet hip width apart, cross reaches. So we're coming up, we're reaching beyond the knee and back down. Team, we start in four, three, two, and one. This one, I want you to find that speed if you can. Reach, 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 reach. Up, 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 up. Keep that breath going, just for another five, another four, three, two, one. Breathe, rest it out, shake it out. Good job, team. All right, we're heading back to the start. Those so wide runs, here we go, in three, two, one, run it out. You can use those arms to help you. You can run with them, you can let them float. Sometimes this is quite nice, it keeps me nice and relaxed. Wide, I could get lower. Could you get lower? Just five, more. Four, three, two, one. Little shake into that sprawl. We're jumping in, in five. In four, three, two, let's rock and roll. Lifting that chest. I'm jumping the feet wide so that I've got space to get up. Remember if you're modifying, you can remove the jump, see how you feel. Team, five more, five more, five, four, three, two, one, cross reach. Take the weight of the head into the hand, we're coming across, across, in five. We start in five, in four, in three, in two, cross, reach it out. I want you to go up, 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 and then if you can, go through the music. Take it quicker, use that breath. 10 seconds, that is it. Then we'll be halfway through your Tabata. Little reach, little reach, little reach, little reach. Just four, three, two, and one. Halfway point through that Tabata. Your Tabata is the second last thing we're doing today. We'll have a little minute finisher at the end. We're back into those quick runs in four, three, two, one. Run it out, run it out, run it out, 
run out. I'm coming close, I've got my eye on you. Let's run together for the field 20. I'm right here, 10 more seconds. Stay low, stay low, come on Ross. I need to get a little bit lower I think. There it is, just for four, for three, for two, for one, check it out. Plank position, we're in that sprawl. How's that breath doing? I'm starting to lose my head it. Four, three, two, let's go, let's go. Lifting that chest, shooting out, shooting in. This is the second last time we're doing this exercise. So you wanna make it count. Use that breath, use that core. Team, five, four, three, two, and one. Little shake. Beautiful, last Tabata round. Never seeing these exercises again. So let's make it count. Big runs, in three, in two, run it out, run it out. Remember, focus today, what was it? Fast and low, fast, low. There it is, 10 seconds. Sometimes it's quite nice. Change that direction, back the other way. See how it feels, just for three, two, one, all right, into that sprawl. This one is a toughie. Let's do it together. Here we go, we're here in four, in three, in two. Let's go, let's go. Lifting that chest, that part is important. It's building that strength through the core, through the hamstrings, through the glutes. The shoulders are working, the wrists are getting stronger in that plank. Lots going on here, team. Just for another four, another three, Two, one, let's finish this Tabata nice and strong. You deserve to take it down. Team, we're here in four, in three, in two, in one. Here we go, up, 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 and up. Using that breath, using that rotation through the body. See if we can bring that shoulder around any more. We're here for another five, another four, three, two, one. Team, straight away, final minute of today's session. And then we'll have a little stretch out. Find your high plank for me. Option for the knees to be down, of course. Shoulders over those wrists. Breathe. We rotate downward dog. Four, three, two, one. Take it back. Three, two, one. One more. Four, three, two, one, take it forward, team, mountain climbers, knee comes in, 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 this is it, stay with me, breathe, you got it, knees, in, 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 if you need to modify, you drop those knees, you take it slow, in, in, team, just another, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, breathe. Press back into that child's pose. Relax down, have a little shake out in those hips. Use that breath. Now, all we have left to do is a little plank hold and that is it. We're gonna take a low plank, we're finding stillness. We've worked that cardio, long through the spine, tuck the toes, lift the knees. If we're not lifting the knees today, of course, you just drop them down. This is the last bit, it's the last 10 seconds. Tell yourself, yes, you absolutely can. Long through the spine, lift out of the shoulders. Stay with me, team. Just four, three, two, one. Press back into that child's pose. Relax down, have a little rock out. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Exactly how we started the session today is how we're gonna end in that child's pose. Take the right hand on top of the left this time. One within the other, just moving between the two. And then when you're ready, separate the hands, flip them up to the ceiling. You can have a little rock out in the hips if that feels good. Rocking forward onto the hands, tucking the toes up and back. And then when you're ready, either walking the feet to the hands, the hands to the feet, bending the knees, rolling up through the spine, standing tall, standing proud for sure, because you have worked. Silver Liners, thank you so much for joining me. Your energy always carries me through, 
keeps me going, find that breath, have a bit more of a stretch if you need to. Remember, you can always come back to revisit this on the library or on the app. I will hopefully see you next time. Thank you once again. Have a great day.